The Director General of the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies has urged African countries to institutionalize parliamentary studies as a means of conflict resolution and to further deepen democracy. The DG disclosed this when he received a delegation from the Ethiopian Parliament at the institution's headquarters in Abuja. TVC News' Tijesu Adewi reports. Ethiopia is one of the ancient empires in the world and is one of the never colonized countries in the world. But the landlocked country in the Horn of Africa has had its years of military dictatorship and descended into civil war in November 2020 when its federal government declared war against the Tigray People's Liberation Front. This conflict has led to the death of many, with many others wounded and millions displaced. This is why the Center of Humanitarian Dialogue is exploring several options for conflict resolutions. One of such alternatives is a visit to the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies along with a delegation from the Ethiopian Parliament. This visit is to gather knowledge and experience from the Institute on conflict resolution. To allow for continuous experience sharing and learning opportunities, which we believe uh, this is an important institution uh, that will give them that exposure uh, on what uh, you do here in Nigeria and of course uh, the excellent work you have been doing in terms of democracy and legislative affairs. This is an institution in how the institution is supporting that means the legislative organ, in what way, that means related again with uh, uh, conflict, that means a resolution, uh, how they are supporting and how they are working because it is new for us that means this institution in our country may not be as organized like this. The helmsman at Nigeria's Democratic Institute urges the visitors to emulate Nigeria on how it has been able to manage conflict with the help of the parliament and the institution's intervention. The essence of our institute is to enhance the capacity of the Guinean parliament. How do we train the parliament? How do we train the legislature? How do we expose them to best practices across the globe? How do we ensure that our parliament, the parliamentarians, the parliamentary staff are exposed to the way and manner laws have been made? The Institute believes it has delivered on its mandate and hopes that other African countries can adopt strategies to develop good governance and further deepen democracy. Tijeswa Adiri, TVC News, Abuja.